Hello and welcome. There was a major update for DCS recently and part of that major update was quite a big one for the Syria map by Ugra Media and the big change was that Cyprus was added in the Mediterranean. Now, uh, I'm excited about this for a number of reasons. The first one being as we now have a modern day RAF base in the guise of RAF Akrotiri down here at the bottom um, and then the, n the numerous possibilities and the potential for just using the island itself for missions or campaigns. Um, just to give you a, a brief history of the island, back in 1960 um, it gained independence from the British Empire. After, after this uh, breakaway um, the guy in charge, uh, by, the, by the name of Makarios III, who uh, I believe was a uh, Greek Cypriot, um, he made some changes or amendments to the constitution. And the Turkish Cypriots on the island um, really didn't like it. Um, so there was violence... Uh, outbursts all across the island between the two um, communities uh, obviously uh, Cyprus being um, majority Greek Cypriot but there's also um, around about 30% um, Turkish Cypriot so with this uh, fighting um, the Turkish Cypriots were forced to live in small uh, small areas um, pushed their way uh, from where they lived things like that now with this um, and it being majority Greek Cypriot and backed by Greece Greece has this thing um, where uh, they want all Greek uh, people peoples um, and their territories all uh, under one union um, uh, called Enosis and um, so the uh, the Greek forces on the island as well as the Cypriot National Guard um, forced a coup d'etat uh, taking control of the island uh, and its uh, parliament um, so with this uh, the Turkish forces um, fall back and in 1974 um, there was uh, an invasion of Turkish forces um, and a lot of fighting ensued um, so uh, because obviously it's a tripartite island now uh, with Turkey, Greece and the British um, they were all forced to um, come to some sort of an agreement and the green line was formed uh, originally just a green line uh, drawn on a piece of, on the map um, now uh, it was drawn along where the Turkish forces had advanced to um, and that is how it was kept um, and the Turkish forces uh, no, uh, didn't push any further and the Greek forces no longer pushed back so they were divided um, and the north decided to break away and become their own um, autonomous zone or its own little country in the form of the North uh, Cyprus Republic of North, North Cyprus I believe it's called and um, it's a de facto um, nation meaning it exists but it's not internationally recognized so um, it's still a bit of a, a grey area and um, the southern part became the Republic of Cyprus and uh, is what it is now so it's not the best um, history lesson ever I've probably missed a load of it out um, I'm no historian but that's just how the island basically broke up into its um, 
two parts and also with the um, capital of Nicosia um, the green line actually runs right through the center of it so it's very reminiscent of uh, Germany back during the Cold War where you had obviously an east and a west um, but you had a I suppose you could call this a Berlin Wall-esque um, divide between the two as it as it cuts right through the center of the capital um, but yeah um, like I say it creates a lot of um, possibilities and there's quite a lot of potential for campaigns and missions just centered on this island so that's the end enough of the history let's get uh, go and take a look at the the actual map okay so here we have the island and um, we have eight visible air bases slash airports helipads whatever you want to call them in the form of Paphos, Akrotiri, Lanarka, Kingsfield, Getchitkali, Erkan or Urchan, Penabashi, Lakatamia and then you've got Nicosia here but because um, that received extensive damage um, during the 1974 invasion of Tur uh, by Turkey um, it was never reopened and is now the um, major uh, base of operations for the United Nations peacekeeping forces in Cyprus which um, patrol the green zone or the green line buffer zone it has many names but anyway this is Nicosia as I um, said in the previous and as you can see right through the middle we have the buffer zone and there are quite a lot of um, United Nations uh, peacekeeping force forces um, outposts dotted around as well as um, border crossings um, checkpoints that sort of thing uh, because originally uh, crossing the green line from south to north or from north to south was um, forbidden um, but as of two, early 2000s um, the northern uh, part of the island run by the Turkish government um, have relaxed their crossing procedures and is um, now allowed in certain out, um, outposts or checkpoints um, so yeah so we have the former RAF Nicosia or Nicosia International Airport before it was um, bombed by the Turkish forces and uh, we have a um, damaged and scrapped uh, trident there on the apron um, and if we quickly go down to Paphos um, uh, again in the early 2000s um, an airliner accidentally landed on the taxiway here so uh, from that point onwards um, they decided to point uh, to paint yellow in yellow taxiway on, and taxi on either end uh, so as to not get the same problem again um, you'll be glad to hear that nobody was injured and there was no damage caused by that landing on the taxiway uh, quite a funny little story um, uh, Google is your friend if you're interested in that uh, then of course we have RAF Akrotiri uh, base of operations for modern RAF uh, missions into the Middle East as well as um, Hush Hush uh, U2 flights um, but yeah, uh, very well made um, we will look into it further it has this kind of U2 style hangars um, the um, scenery uh, and hangar models for Akrotiri and the majority of the major airports on on this map are um, accurate uh, specially made um, models for the hangars and things like that 
Um, then after that we have Lanarka. Uh, quite a nice little uh, gateway on the terminal there. Quite a large airport. Uh, Ayanapa over here, the party central of the island. Uh, Getchikali, um, which is, I believe, a Turkish airbase of some form. Um, and over here, where is it? Down here is Kingsfield, part of the British Sovereign's bases um, areas. Again, uh, this is just, I believe, a relief field for um, small aircraft. Um, it's not used in any sort of major capacity by the Royal Air Force, I don't believe. Uh, then we've got Urkan International, um, and that is uh, the major airport for the Turkish Northern Republic of Cyprus. I believe I keep getting that wrong. And then you've got Pinabashi. Um, a lot of helicopters using that one. And then we have uh, Lakatamia as a helicopter base. Um, because um, after delving into what sort of forces the, the Cypriot uh, government has, um, they do have an air force. Um, as far as I know, they've got one Britain Norman Defender, one PC-7 or PC-9. Um, and the majority are MI-35s. So the release of the MI-24 couldn't have come at a better time, really, if you wanted to reenact Cypriot forces um, for this map. And then we come to some hidden gems up on the top here. Of, uh, I believe that's the... up here is the Mount Olympus uh, Observatory. This one here. Um, we've got RAF Trudos, which is, I think is used by the Cypriots as well, but it's a, a radar station uh, listening post. And then, if you can believe it or not, this uh, island has three highway strips. First one being here on the, uh, I think this is the A, A1. I believe, and it's um, you can't really see the turn turnaround ramps, but I've marked them out anyway after doing a lot of research on Google Maps. Uh, this is the A5, I believe. Uh, no, the A5 is down here. Sorry, and uh, we've got this one here. So um, again, you can't see the turnaround points, uh, which is rather odd, but this one here near Paphos, um, you can actually see the turnaround points here, one here, one here, and there's also two down the other end, uh, but this one is a rather shorter one, um, so you've got one there, and obviously the other one is uh, covered by these uh, textures of the fields, which I think is a bit of a shame as they've not been uh, implemented at all. Um, I'm not sure if landing on them is a, a plausible thing at the moment. Um, that's for me to have a look on a, a further time. But yes, uh, so you have uh, nine of all, all the ones that are major. So you've got Paphos, Akrotiri, Lanarka, Kingsfield, Gitchikali, uh, Urchan, Urkan, uh, Pinabashi, Lakatamia, Nicosia. Then you've got the three highway strips, and then RAF, RAF Trudos is the um, listening post, radar post for the uh, defence of the island as well. So again, there's um, potential for other things, um, and also um, the Cypriot um, air defence network is quite impressive. Um, as well as the obviously the Turkish um, is quite impressive anyway but the, the Cypriots on their own have um, a very impressive air defence battery um, I won't go into specifics now but um, 
the majority of majority of it is available in DCS. So we're going to have a quick look at each airfield. Um, this is going to be quite a long-winded video, so I do apologise. But as you can probably tell, I'm still quite excited the fact that Cyprus exists on the map now. So we'll get into uh, the simulation proper now. So first up, we have Nicosia International Airport, or the former RAF Nicosia, as you can see, the dilapidated terminal there. Um, looking so like it should be sat in Chernobyl somewhere um, and this is the Trident that we could see from the map um, Trident Sunjet I'm not sure if that's a South African Trident of some sort it looks like a gazelle on the tail I don't know my airlines very well um, as well as the old Nissan huts um, some of the oldest parts of the uh, the airfield um, some old hangarage workshops and obviously surrounded by this huge wall on all sides uh, as it's part of the green green line um, of which is outside the walls here as you can see is a United Nations outpost uh, border control here um, there's no uh, air traffic control for this airfield so you can't uh, call up the airfield if you want to come into land um, it's obviously still in use by the helicopters of the UN peacekeeping forces and again like I said earlier um, is accommodation and obviously, uh, also a recreation ground um, for the people that work there so yeah, that's Nicosia. Next up we have RAF Akrotiri, as it says on the sign there. And we have a Union flag dangling in the breeze there. So uh, we'll just shoot up. We'll have a look at from the from the air. There's the large aircraft ramp there, A400, C17s, that sort of size that we're looking at. Uh, hangars, workshops those sorts of areas here um, dotted around all over the place accommodation blocks um, these are what I class as the U2 hangars very similar to the B2 hangars that we have at Fairford uh, some Union flags dangling at the back there pretty sure that's just added by Ugra Media control tower obviously uh, down here <coughs> we have the fighter ramp although from what I've read on forums some of this parking isn't quite right um, seems to be a lot of mixing up of yellow lines there um, another U2 hangar there um, <coughs> medium sized aircraft such as the Herx uh, uh, the old Sentinels um, would have parked here some more parking ramps there. And a lot of these um, power stations dotted about on the airfield as well. Um, so yeah, uh, this is RAF Akrotiri. Uh, plenty of uh, accommodation here, as you can see. Really, really been really, really well done. Um, just looks great. Uh, it's just accommodation blocks for as, as far as you can see. Married quarters, that sort of thing. Um, but I think that is the main gate where I was over there. So no gate guardian, as far as I'm aware. Um, so yeah, that's RAF Akrotiri. Then on Kingsfield, which is also part of the British Sovereign Base area. Um, so yeah, we've got quite a large hangar here. Go all the way through. Um, that's about it really. Most of the uh, airfield is fenced off quite tightly, so don't expect anything large to uh, land here. It really is. Looks basically like a relief ground not used by anything heavy at whatsoever um, so yeah that's 
Kingsfield. This is Paphos International, um, in, back in 2011 a Thompson Airlines 737 inadvertently landed on the taxiway hence the reason for the large yellow letters and the squiggly lines either side of the taxiway. Um, since then there hasn't been any reports of uh, a anything landing on the taxiway um, from that point onwards. Just below me here is the civilian side uh, with ramp and uh, terminal there and on this side here we have the Andreas Papandreou Air Base um, which is the only real active in-use air base on the whole of the Cypriot side uh, well the Greek Cypriot side um, the Hazes here and the um, obviously the helicopter housing for their MI-35s quite an impressive bit of infrastructure an infrastructure for what is not a huge air force I mean they do have a second uh, air base on the island uh, but this is the this is the air base it, uh, and it also bases the headquarters um, for the forces on the island so yeah, um, quite impressive. Again, uh, it's just shared with a civilian airport. Here we have Lanarka. Pretty good until you see this building over here. The gateways and the terminal. I think that's just a, an impressive model in itself just to add to the the environment of the, the, the Syria map. Uh, obviously you know, have the control tower just here. Um, nothing much to write home about that but that is quite a nice, uh, nice nicely designed and well uh, executed model there for the, the terminal and gateways. Uh, obviously you have the fuel, fuel areas over here um, yeah, uh, so obviously if you have the civilian aircraft mod you can use these to full effect. Um, if you don't, I suggest you go and get it because you're going to have a lot of fun with it. This is the little airfield of Lakatamia. After the 1974 um, invasion by Turkey and the destruction of Nicosia, the Cypriot forces had to retreat and uh, were no longer be able to use Nicosia, they reactivated um, the uh, defunct uh, Lakatamia Air Force Base. Now, uh, as far as I'm aware, um, only small aircraft, well, they only have the PC-7-9 and the Defender in their arsenal, so, I mean, it's not they're going to get, I don't know, 707 in or anything like that, but uh, a lot of the airfield runway was dug up um, as far back as 2013 I believe so it's actually a lot shorter than it used to be it used to run up to the second road up there down to about here but now it's just a fraction of the size and I believe that the gazelles are based here possibly MI-35s as well I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that uh, but because of the um, the, the uh, destruction of Nicosia, they were forced to reopen Lakatamia and uh, has been uh, in operation since. Uh, like I say, it's tiny. Um, there's not much in the way of. Well, there is no control tower. Um, in fact, there's nothing here. It's just the helipads and the small strip of runway so um, yeah that'd be interesting to use next up we have the main international airport of Urchan or Urkan uh, this is the main uh, airport for the 
Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, as it's something along those lines anyway, with the Turkish controlled northern sector. Um, so if we go down and take a closer look. And as you can see, we have a tower, a basic um, terminal, car parking at the rear there, um, one, one run runway. Um, I swear I'm having a stroke. And um, various administration buildings and the like. Um, so, yeah, that's our channel, Urcan. Here we have Getchikali Air, Air Force Base. Um, n there hasn't been any fast jet movement here since the early 2000s, um, but I believe um, back in 2019 a UAV um, of some some type landed here uh, from the mainland of, of Turkey. Um, so it is still in use, um, but I think it's just for UAVs. Uh, we've got parking here for three three larger aircraft. I know uh, six F-16s were based here back in the um, tensions in 98 between Greece and Turkey, where Turkey based six F-16s at Paphos, and in response Turkey based six F-16s here. Um, so is capable of fast jet activity um, just doesn't seem to have the parking for it um, but as I say uh, seems to be UAV based now so yeah that's Gadget Carly this is a bit of a strange one this one uh, this is Pinabashi um, obviously an air base of some some description uh, I'm guessing helicopters with the many helipads on, on display there um, quite short runway, nothing um, in the way of hangarage apart from what looks like an old maintenance hangar and some parking spots on the ramp um, so make of that as you will um, doesn't seem to be much of an airfield um, and I really couldn't find a lot about it on, uh, on the internet either so if any of you have got any information on this one leave me a comment and on top of Mount Olympus which is the highest peak on the island we have Trudos Station or RAF Trudos um, this is the oldest uh, British military base on Cyprus and dates back to the late 1800s um, back when we were fighting the Egyptian campaign and uh, obviously now that's not the case it's the, uh, a remote signal station and it's a, a joint service signal unit um, I believe uh, the Cypriots also use this as well so um, it contains the Mount, Olymp Mount Olympus radar station and it also houses the, the British, British National Space Centre's Starbrook Widefield Telescope so I have to correct myself it's not um, Mount Olympus Observatory uh, although there will be an observatory built uh, on on this uh, peak at some point um, as you can see there are three golf balls here um, and that's all part of the same base complex uh, you have the two here uh, with some accommodation blocks and then up here we have uh, some further uh, we have a radar mast and a, another golf ball uh, with guard towers and things like that. I'm guessing that could be something to do with the base as well. So um, up here in the middle of nowhere there is uh, more to be found. On my travels around the island I actually did find one of the um, highway strips uh, that I set up on the mission editor. Um, Obviously I don't think there'd be much in the way of being able to land anything on here with the light poles and the uh, central reservation, but you could give it a try. I mean, it goes from here, as you can see, um, even the textures around where these uh, vehicles are parked on it at the turnaround point. Another one here, 
just there and it uh, runs all the way down here to uh, over the bridge that could be um, yeah that could be disastrous not a good idea to land on that but it does run all the way down to this guy here so and that's the shortest one on the island that's the shortest highway strip I mean that would have been good if it hadn't have had the lumpy bumpy um, bridge there but that's highway um, highway strip one upon heading east towards Nanaka I've now found the second highway strip uh, as you can see it's a little bit up and down along here so I'm not sure how suitable that would be to land on either um, be an interesting one uh, this is one of the longer ones if not the longest, uh, runs to about here. Unfortunately, uh, on this one, you, I couldn't actually find the turnaround points. Uh, but using Google Maps, I was able to plot this one out. It's not a hundred percent spot on, but it's as close as I can get it. Um, but yeah, uh, an interesting one. And uh, now I will try and look for number three. And. I finally came across uh, highway strip number three and I do believe this is actually the longest one um, as you can see fairly light uh, nice long straight line um, again no uh, turnaround points that I could visibly see uh, but I was able to mark it out using Google Maps and that runs for quite a way uh, again uh, stops just before the bridge um, could be handy this one looks like it could be plausible slight incline but you would make the approach from the south anyway um, so you fly in and then uh, make your way in from that direction um, obviously I've just added that for effect or affect but um, yeah, uh, just a, a rough guide of the three highway strips that exist on the island as well. And even if you go on um, Google Maps now and um, plonk the little orange man on the road at the points where the turnaround points are, they're still maintained and kept in quite good condition. So um, I guess they they never know when they're going to need them. So not like the autobahn in Germany where they're pretty much not used now but um, these are very much still <coughs> um, maintained uh, so yeah uh, I'll go and have a little explore and see if you can find them yourself um, interesting to see if we could actually get anything down now obviously wide wing would, would be out of the question um, for like holes but um, maybe a vegan that's possible anyway yeah so that's highway strip 3 okay so that was my tour of uh, Cyprus took in as much as I could um, there's obviously more out there each uh, city towns they have their own individual bits of scenery, um, points of interest, uh, their own buildings and such. Uh, but I show, showed you RF Trudos, I showed you all the airfields including the um, bombed and defunct RF Nicosia or Nicosia Airport. And I also showed you the um, three um, highway strips. Um, if you are interested in grid reference uh, this one is in VD54 bottom right hand corner um, the next one is over in WD24 and on the uh, eastern side of that square and the other one is WD36 and just off centre uh, be interesting to see if anybody's actually seen this far and gone off and made their own videos for highway landings. 
but I am only a small creator, so uh, living in a bit of a dream world there. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my tour of Cyprus um, and the rather shoddy history lesson that I gave at the beginning. Uh, I apologise for any Cypriots or Turkish or Greek that may be watching. I'm not here to offend. Uh, just to uh, put this out out there and let everybody know that this island really has a lot of potential in the game. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And as always, take care. And I'll see you in the next one.